Seven is celebrating Women's History Month by bringing you the stories of the 10 women who are being inducted into the Colorado Women's Hall of Fame later this month. Six of the inductees, they're considered modern, four considered historical. And among those four women, Ellis Meredith, who helped Colorado become the second state in the nation to give women the right to vote. She was known as the Susan B. Anthony of Colorado. After helping women in Colorado get the right to vote in 1893, Ellis Meredith turned her attention to the national effort. She went to the National Women's Congress um, in 1893 um, as a way to connect with the national leaders. She spoke before the U.S. House of Representatives in 1904 on behalf of women's suffrage. Ellis was the first woman elected to a political office in the city of Denver. Voters elected her to the election commission in 1910. She garnered more votes than the seven men in total who she was running against to win that office. The force behind the A Woman's World column in the Rocky Mountain News, Ellis eventually became the first woman to cover the Colorado legislature. Women weren't expected to be part of the mainstream, weren't expected to be political. They were considered to be too fragile to be able to handle politics. And while she may be disappointed that Denver's never had a woman mayor, Colorado has never had a woman governor, and the country has never had a woman president, chances are her message to young women would remain the same. Keep fighting. It may take a long time to achieve what you want to achieve, but keep at it. Don't give up. I love that. Andrew here reporting. Ellis Meredith was quite the force to be reckoned with, too, but she wasn't really an imposing figure. She was barely five feet tall, probably around 100 pounds, and you can learn more about her and the other nine women that are being inducted into the Colorado Hall of Fame in the spotlight section of the homepage on our website, thedenverchannel.com.